Hello guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. I just wanted to show an interesting hunting horn build I made for someone who I haven't played a lot of hunting horn, so I wanted to find a build that was just straightforward, isn't too hard to make because I don't have all the decorations in the world, I haven't played hundreds of hours into this game, and I wasn't able to find one on YouTube, so I decided to make my own. And so I wanted to point out some of the key aspects of this build so that if you don't have the decorations I can, you can try and switch out the armor pieces you need to get those skills. And then kind of the idea of what I'm going for with this build. So looking at the list of skills on the right here, the big skills I want to go for is there's sort of a holy trinity in Monster Hunter builds with Critical Eye 7, Critical Boost 3, and Weakness Exploit 3. They're just very important for giving your weapon damage by upgrading its chance to hit critical and then boosting the damage of those criticals. So those are pretty big on every weapon set you'll see in Monster Hunter. But the one specific to this hunting horn build I'm doing are the additions of the wide range level 5, which really gives it a support role, and then the horn maestro level 2 which is very classic for hunting horn builds, just giving your melodies a longer duration of effect. And so, talking about those melodies, I want to take a look at this hunting horn I've picked out for this, because this, a lot of people are going to say, you know, this is not the best hunting horn, and I would agree, because it's not the best at anything, but it's good at everything. So, this hunting horn has no element, so you're not having to element match, you can use it against any monster, and it has a high amount of physical damage, and the biggest thing, two reasons why I chose it are first, it's sharpness, it has a large white sharpness bar. So if you're rocking the three Kaiser male pieces you see I'm wearing, the master's touch that gives will make it so you don't really have to worry about sharpness. You can just stay at the white sharpness for most of the hunt. And the second big reason are the notes that this hunting horn has. And the biggest reason I picked those three notes is that it gives you the attack up L hunting horn melody, which if you play it twice, turns into attack up XL. And the attack up XL gives everybody on your team including you a 20 percent damage increase which is huge it's a big thing that is making people interested in hunting horns what made me interested in hunting horn is seeing that huge increase in damage that's coming out with this attack up xl so going back to the decorations seeing this sort of general generalized hunting horn is what's made me interested in making this build and so just looking at this equipment here, we have the Teostra gear for the helmet, chest piece, and gauntlets. Those three pieces of gear are what giving you that master's touch for Teostra's technique, which means whenever you're hitting a critical spot, a weak point on a monster, you're not going to lose weapon sharpness. This also includes those spots that you tenderize on monsters. So if you clutch go onto the monster and do the weapon attack, if you hit that area afterward, you're not going to lose sharpness on it. And if you look, I don't have the craziest collection of jewels. I only have two critical boost jewels. I have a couple tender righteous jewels, but I'm only using two for this set. And the big thing I want to tell you guys is that please feel free to tweak this build around. The big cores of this build is using that Tigrex horn because it gives you the melodies that are helpful and that you go for that big trinity of damage, the critical eye, the critical boost, the weakness exploit, and then to be a support player, you get that wide range level 5 so that your items are benefiting your teammates and you get the horn maestro level 2. The rest of the stuff I have on here is from the armor pieces of Teostra. It comes from me loving health boost. I'm a sucker for health boost. It helps me survive and hunt so much. And then just extra spots because I don't have the most diverse set of gems, like this free meal. Free meal is helpful. It lets you use a lot more items, but I would not at all call it necessary. So after this, I'm gonna walk through a bit in the training ground, some of the combos that you're looking for with the hunting horn. But this is the big part you need to see. The rest is just demonstration. Thank you for sticking around. This is the second part where I'm going to show you a couple of the primary combos that you're trying to do with this hunting horn build. The biggest of which, if you draw your weapon, you'll see that you have your melodies. The main one that's even highlighted for you is that attack up L. That is so important for this build. It's what's going to help your team out the most, which is just Y and B, Y and B at the same time, and then Y again, which might be different for if you're on PlayStation or PC. So you see. I've been messing around here a little bit already, so it's showing attack up XL, and the only reason it says XL is because I've already played this melody once. So if you hit right trigger, it'll play the melody for you, 
And if you want to hit right trigger again, you can play an encore of it. The big thing you're noticing right there, your melodies are attacks. They are ways for you to fight the monster. So do not, don't feel scared and sit on the side playing your melodies. You want to be in the monster's face, attacking him when you're playing melodies. So I have that attack up XL. That is giving me a huge damage boost. Now, once you have that damage boost, what are you wanting to do with it? Well, the big thing they added in Iceborne is the left trigger attack with Hunting Horn, which if you're not in the middle of an attack, is just your Clutch Claw. Once you start attacks, it adds this new one. And this attack is crazy. Mostly because the attack itself is strong, but in addition, it adds a new set of melodies that you're seeing me building up, which is this Impact Echo Wave. The Impact Echo Wave is pretty interesting in that it's a song that gives no boost to your team, it's just a raw attack on the monster, you can see here. It's a blast. It's blasting it. Now, if you stack three up at the same time, and then encore them by pressing right trigger again, it's going to do a big blast. You notice that one was 457, where the other blasts were only just over 100. So those are the big two things that you're going to try and do as you're using this hunting horn in matches. Is first start out with that attack up XL, and you don't need to do that in a corner. If the monster's right there, you can come up and attack the monster doing this combo to help your team out by stacking up these notes. You're hitting this monster, these are all attacks that you're attacking the monster with. And then once you're finished, it's still above for your team. And then after that, you're wanting to do that combo of the impact echo wave, which is using that new Monster Hunter Iceborne attack, which is the left trigger, which does crazy damage. And remember, this is all impact damage. This is KO damage. This is damage that can knock out the monster why I included that one level of knockout in the build. So, thank you for watching this video. I'll probably post a couple other videos for simple, easy builds that are just pointing out key skills that you're wanting if you're wanting to check out a new weapon. Hopefully you'll like and subscribe this and share with anybody you're wanting to. If you're not feeling like playing Hunting Horn, maybe you can share with one of your friends and ask them to do it for you, because Hunting Horn is so important for helping your team improve as a whole as a support role. Thanks again for watching.